In this video, we will look at absolute value inequalities, which require us to solve for the variable. To solve, we will first set up a compound inequality. Then, solve for it. Solve for that variable. Remember, our compound inequality, if it's greater, is an or, and if it's less than, is a tripartite inequality. In this first problem, we see the absolute value is greater than 8. This reminds us to set up an or. We will simply grab the 3x minus 5, and we set it up as less than the negative value, or the 3x minus 5 is greater than the positive value. And then we can simply solve this compound inequality as always. Starting by adding 5 to both sides, we get 3x is less than negative 3. Dividing by 3 gives us x is less than negative 1. Or, to solve the second one, we add 5, giving us 3x is greater than 13. Divide by 3 to get the fraction x is greater than 13 thirds. Graphing this on a number line, we know with the absolute value, the or is always going to be on the outside of the two numbers going towards positive and negative infinity. So, from negative 1, with an open circle, because it's just less than, we know we must go down. From 13 thirds, with an open circle, we know we must go up. Any of those values on that graph, when plugged in for x, the absolute value of the entire expression will be greater than 8, or the distance greater than 8. In interval notation, the left side goes down to negative infinity and up to negative 1 with a curved bracket. We use union to show there's a second part of the graph, and then we go from 13 thirds all the way up to infinity. Let's take a look at one more example so we can decide how to set up our compound inequality and how to isolate our variables. In this problem, we see that the absolute value is less than a number. When the absolute value is less than a number, we know we must set up a tripartite inequality, which means the expression inside the absolute value, 2x minus 7, must be between two values, the negative value on the left and the positive value on the right. Now, we simply have to solve this tripartite inequality to finish the problem. Adding 7 to all three parts, because it's a tripartite inequality, gives us 4 is less than or equal to 2x is less than or equal to 10. Finally, dividing all parts by 2 will isolate the variable in the middle. We end up with 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 5. Again, we can graph this result on a number line. With tripartite inequalities, we know we're going to be between the two numbers, 2 and 5. Again, we use closed dots to show the or equal to property. And anywhere between 2 and 5, the absolute value of this expression, or the distance from 0, would be less than or equal to 3. Let's express that in interval notation as well. A square bracket, the low value is 2, because it's equal to 2, up to 5, with a square bracket as well, showing that it is or equal to. An important reminder, when the absolute value is greater, set it up as an or. When the absolute value is less, set up a tripartite inequality, and then solve the remaining compound inequality.